Keep you up to date on that all day long. Coming up here for you now, Iowa State and UNC Charlotte and Johnny Orr's team struggled coming into the tournament. They did, Pat. They were a young team, probably a year ahead of schedule, and this will be a good experience for them. But they lost six of their last eight, and they draw a UNC Charlotte team. People may not know, tough team, and have really a top guard in Henry Williams, the school's all-time leading scorer. And that includes Cornbread Maxwell, who went to that school. 1977 Final Four for That's him. Exactly. And here's Johnny. We're going to send you out to the East in Worcester. James Brown and Bill Raftery are working the microphones for you. Iowa State. UNC Charlotte, enjoy this one. All right, Pat, thank you very much, and welcome back to the Centrum in Worcester, Mass. for game two between the seventh seed 49ers of UNC Charlotte and the tenth seed Cyclones of Iowa State. Earlier in game one, Kentucky advanced by finally shaking Old Dominion. Kentucky now awaits the winner of this contest. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Brown. Well, between these two teams, only one player, Jack Boley, a reserve for UNC Charlotte, brings any tournament experience to the table. And as I bring in my partner, Bill Raffrey, Bill, that's got to be a concern for both coaches in terms of perhaps first tournament game jitters. A concern, but they do have some answers. Uh, Mike mentioned Henry Williams. All Jeff Mullins has to do is hand him the basketball. He'll shoot the threes for them. He'll take it to the goal. He's an excellent passer and has an infectious smile, which we both have enjoyed these last couple of days. And then Johnny Orr. Here comes Johnny. <laughs> Justice Thickpen, a sweet shooter, a guy that has a personality that pushes his team forward. He's got an aggressive nature, and a guy that goes without the basketball very well. Talk about infections. Your enthusiasm is as well. Hey, Johnny Orr also has a pleasant surprise this season, a European addition to the well, team. You can't remember the name. Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Julius Mikulik. And the reason this youngster, he passes, he sees the floor, and he takes shots. But the reason he's excelled this year, he doesn't understand the thing Johnny Orr has been telling him. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to do it. Johnny Orr, kind of a homecoming for Johnny Orr, who coached at UMass nearby back in the early 60s. Starting lineups for both ball clubs. As you take a look at them, the matchup will be the backcourt of UNC Charlotte and the big inside strength of Iowa State. The referees for game two here at the Centrum, Bob Garibaldi out of Stockton, California, Donnie Gray from Fort Washington, Maryland, and John Koskinen from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. take a look at the tournament profiles of both of these squads. Iowa, one of five remaining Big 8 teams. And UNC make that uh, UNC Charlotte. Actually, though, they played in the 1977 Final Four. Cedric Maxwell was a the guy there, and despite winning, the Metro Conference did not receive an automatic bid to the tournament. That conference so well thought of, therefore the bids. from the pictures being cut there, Bill. The 14,000 fans here in Worcester love their basketball. They're still here for game two. Uh, the town has been delighted to have the visitors haven't experienced this in Massachusetts ever. First time ever, you're right, that NCAA tournament games being played here in the state of Massachusetts. And they didn't have the necessary teams to have that bid in time. So the NCAA forced an auspicious start here to the game for the announcers anyway as Daryl Duvall comes crashing into the table knocks the coca-cola all over Bill and myself and we'll try to go for it uh, it's good it's early in the day it's only coca-cola the 49ers with the ball Henry Williams and a good strong move underneath as Odom Gets the 49ers on the scoreboard first, and they lead it to zip. Shot from the outside, and the three good. Iowa State has Howard Eaton drop. 
drops in the basket. He's averaging eight. He's got three already. JB, you carry on. I'm going to shower. <laughs> I wish they could see what we're trying to work with as our player boards have been completely drenched. Ink is running everywhere. <laughs> now, we played UNCC Charlotte when I was coaching, and Cedric Maxwell, and Maxwell killed me. Then I was announcing he ran over me in Boston Garden, and now the ball. So I've had enough of this club. <laughs> Ron Bayless with the rebound and brings it up court. And the shot from Hoiberg. Rebounded by Odom. Hoiberg, a very talented youngster. Very creative. Of course, goes without the ball very well. Pretty talented as well. The lefty. Three footer. H. Williams. He'll light it up a few times. Iowa State setting up a 4-3 ball game, 49ers on top, just underway here. And from the free throw line, scored the basket by Justice Nickpen, who was teasing us, Billy, and said, hey, please, don't make fun of my name. That's a good name, an effective name. Well, he said, uh, you can get Nikolic wrong, but get mine right. <laughs> a 5-4 ball game. Iowa State on top, inside to Odom. Odom, good, strong move. And the tap in, no good. The ball was still in the cylinder. Well, we take it back to the beginning, and folks, here we are right here as the ball knocks the coke over Bill Raffrey and myself. And look at the mess we're trying to work with now. We're going to call the game from memory, Bill. Uh, JB was under the table, and folks, I was right on top of him. Uh, fun in the NCAA tournament. Back to action here. Henry Williams. Stolen. Good hands that time by Mikali. And a pass back to Mikali. Can't get the drop. And Duvall with the rebound. Furious action in the early goal. Iowa State a very good running team. Odom. Boy, Odom is coming out awfully strong. And Odom drops in his fourth point. Uh, early in the year, I just got the point over from Henry. Uh, early in the year, scouts were unclear whether he could play. He can score, we know, but he can dish, as he did that time. Three-point shot by Bayless is good. Ron Bayless, the junior guard out of Indianapolis, averaging 12 on a season, and it's an 8-6 Cyclones lead. Notice the strategy, get it out of Williams' hand. I prevent him from touching it as often as possible. Easy up, easy up. Inside to Duvall. Duvall walking clearly that time. Needed a bag for that travel. So he had a kick out pass. Never looked while he set up. Running the floor. Nice give up. Got to catch the ball. Whether it's in America or Czechoslovakia. You got to squeeze the apple. Julius Mikalik from Czechoslovakia. Cedric Broadhurst in for UNC Charlotte. Bayless gets his own rebound and scores. Ron Bayless at 6-1 in the land of the Giants with the tap in. Quickness to elevate. This is Henry Williams with the ball. Iowa State jamming up in their positional man to man. The ball, nice job of keeping the ball above his head, Bill. And late with the support. Nip and tuck in the early going. 10-8 ball game. Iowa State on top. Iowa State, the number 10 seed. I mentioned one of five remaining Big 8 teams in the conference and make that in the tournament. Nebraska losing last night. Bayless' shot rebounded by Eaton. He can shoot it from out here. Mikalik, and he gets it. A three-pointer from Julius Mikalik. 6-11. You know how they teach the game in Europe? They say, come on about 40 feet out, and we'll work on your three-point shot. And then they eventually bring you inside <laughs> to mix it up. Everybody can shoot deep. A big man dream. Broadhurst. Nice-looking move by Cedric Broadhurst, the junior guard out of Mount Olive, North Carolina. Because the kid that comes to mind is Drazen Petrovic with the Nets, who's a great deep shooter. But they certainly have a feel for the game. A lot of coaches have gone over to teach it. Big pin off the mark. Rebounded strong by Broadhurst. He's brought some activity with him off the bench. And Williams, well, he's Mr. Activity on the floor. On the run, the smoothness and the hesitation to kiss it. 
Four points for Henry Williams, averaging 20. Eaton, back up. Broadhurst, yet another rebound. Boy, he's thrown some springy legs off the bench. Oh, my English teacher didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I know your mother did. Oh, Phil, I'm getting a little excited here, huh? Hope the English teachers of America didn't hear that one. Very relaxed right now, both clubs, JB. Loose, looking for their own individual moves. Hey, Bill, there's no way they can keep this pace throughout the game. Uh, they'll give it a shot, particularly with Williams at the throttle. They're effective with them at the point or off the ball. So Jeff has a nice little piece here by Thigpen. And Terrell's shot is blocked by Thigpen, and there's a foul that Donnie Gray has underneath. When it crunches, that's why I love Nestle Crunch. Gotta have it, it's so scrunchious. Love that chocolate when it crunches. Chocolate is crunchious when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Thank you, doctor. I'm not a real doctor, but if I were, I'd recommend ligament for occasional muscle pain. Still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. glory you could depend on muscle talent and heart now you can add digital computer analysis retinal scanners and more and that costs money that's why every time you use your visa card money goes to help the u.s olympic team so pull for the team and pull out your visa card because at the olympics they don't take excuses and they don't take american express visa is everywhere you want to be in a balloon how romantic five hours what about my diarrhea don't worry honey i brought the fermatine still going nothing outlasts the energizer they keep going and going if a mysterious mountain man arthur snags you a trout and gives you bear hugs he could be just another animal arthur all new northern exposure monday thinks that he sees something familiar in his NCAA tournament this year, it's because he does. Fifteen years ago, he was coaching Michigan, the number one team in the land. They played North Carolina, Charlotte in the NCAA Midwest Regional Final, and they lost. It was Charlotte's biggest victory. The point guard on that team, Melvin Watkins, is now the assistant coach of North Carolina, Charlotte. And this week, he got a telegram from Lee Rose, his old coach. The telegram said, if you can beat Johnny Orr once, you can beat him again. Go 49ers. Back to you, JB. All right, Curry. Well, Johnny Orr is certainly one of the craftiest coaches around, so that will be a tough task indeed. Johnson, the high arcing shot, no good. Loose ball, and a foul whistled under the basket. Now, the one thing in looking at tapes, Mikalik does not snatch the basketball and be aggressive. And they're, they're new people as well. Meyer's going to be a stronger player eventually, but you've got to sneak uh, snatch the opportunity. Grab the basketball. Julius Mikalik with two personal fouls. Dot drops in the person, and there's that 77 team that Curry was talking about. Chad Kinch was on that team. We mentioned Cedric Maxwell. A very talented team, and Lee Rose coached throughout the tournament, and not one hair was out of place. He put a few people's <laughs> out of place. Mr. Watts. Yeah, nice player, Melvin. A 1.49ers lead. And a block. Bolle. Great looking block by Jack Foley as he goes up the 6'9 center. Smacks it away. Get it out of here, huh, Bill? Oh, good attention to business there as Hoiberg had turned the corner. 
They run a lot of stuff to bring you away from the basket and then back to Iowa State. Lauren Meyer at 6'11", battling hard on the inside. And Bayless, who loves to tee it up defensively, has a tough assignment to Williams. Rogers, the young man that I said who brought them a pair of springy legs off the bench, well, continues. Get, <laughs> when they get up that high, you can use it correct grammar. <laughs> My professors at Harvard wouldn't appreciate that. And a traveling violation on Lauren Meyer. Already today, number 10, Tulane upsets number 7, St. John's. And Michigan State, boy, had a tough one with Southwest Missouri State. Kentucky didn't break out of this one until the last five minutes of the ball game as ODU couldn't hang in there. Dot with the double clutch. Shot was altered that time by Meyer. Well, Iowa State does have some nice size to go to on the bench. And they're not afraid to get down the floor. Of course, the quick tee up that time, deep by Bayless. The big guys can run. Daniel Johnson throws it to Williams, and Williams can't find the mark. Nikolik with the rebound. This is the tougher lineup for UNCC. Johnson can penetrate and find others, particularly Williams. Well, you know, Nikolik certainly didn't look powerful on the inside, but he is agile from the outside. And Donnie Gray whistles a foul and will be back to shoot the free throws after this. Charlotte follows with number 25, Cedric Broadhurst. That's his first. No better way to face the day. The morning belongs to Speed Stick. It's 110% protection against wetness and odor that lasts all day. Start the morning with Speed Stick, the wide stick, for powerful 24-hour protection. Speed Stick, 110% protection. Is that it? One second, son. To achieve superior results. Now? Don't be so impatient. You need superior tools. Since 1843, a company from New Britain, Connecticut, has been helping people do things right. Okay. Try it now. Finally. Stanley. All right. You know, someday these tools could be yours. How about the car, Dad? Stanley Mechanics Tools at leading retailers. Our dentist recommended baking soda. But we wanted tartar control. Arm & Hammer Dental Care gives us both. Brushing with baking soda or a baking soda toothpaste is recommended by two out of three dentists to help provide healthy teeth and gums. New Arm & Hammer Dental Care tartar control. From the baking soda experts. Doctor. Is it right for me? Habitrol. It's a patch. Well, you know, the patch. Habitrol. Habitrol. You know, Habitrol. It's a patch. It's new. Habitrol. Ask your doctor about Habitrol, nicotine transdermal system. Thanks, doctor. Where do you want to be in 10 years? Detroit to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to Detroit. That's not why I became a pilot. I'll tell you the run I want. St. Thomas to Saba Island. In my own Grumman Mallard. Call it Dave's Airways. That's what I want for my investments. Now, how do we do it? You can get there from here. With Shearson Lehman Brothers. Phil's Bar going out of business? Phil's is like my second home. If it had a washer dryer, it'd be my first home. How will Murphy and the gang save him? All new Murphy Brown Monday. Tournament selection committee certainly still has a lot to be proud of, Billy, as the, the higher seeds have won 16 of 19 games. Tulane, coached by Perry Clark, won its first ever tournament game, and the power conferences continue to win. Now, when we had the carbonated drink, I'll call it, spilled on us at the start of the game, I have since become a little too hyper. No free throws being shot. A foul was called, though, by Donnie Gray. Iowa State ball. Trying to get organized. Here's their high 2-3. They get back cuts. You notice UNCC soft on the wing so they don't give up that backdoor layup. And speaking of backdoor, we'll see a few tonight. Oh, Princeton playing the Cuse. The Masters at backdoor. Meyer, 6-11 inside. Off the back of the rim. And Broadhurst owning the defensive glass for the 49ers. Third consecutive rebound for him. And got Using that big body on the inside, 6 20 he pulls his way up. Well, 
Dwayne Johnson just gives it up, creates havoc for the defense. Nice dish by him. 49ers on top by three. Off the side of the glass, the shot that time by McCoy. Delano Johnson. Billy had an asthma condition that was found to be affecting his stamina early on, taking medication. He's only about 85, 90%. And you also mentioned had a potassium deficiency. A, a deficiency, and Jeff Mullins said that he's the guy they've missed. And all of a sudden, the last couple of days at practice, he seems to have his stamina up. He can turn the corner, kick it to the wing for the three, or down low for the power. And the big fellas are happy to see him back and healthy. Anytime you got a good passing guard, certainly Jeff Mullins can appreciate that. You'd like to see him back. How about Jeff's ability to shoot? He'd like to play with anybody who like to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Wiley back in the game for UNC Charlotte, as well as Justice Thigpen. Thigpen replacing Ron Bayless. I think if you look at UNCC, Odom is a guy that has to contribute. Got to keep him on the floor. Pretty good jump shooter. Because tough pass, guy going away from the basket, not much he can do once he gets it. So he has to play within himself. Year at UCLA, then the suggestion that he go to a JC, San Jack, so that he didn't interrupt his eligibility years, and then on to UNCC. Yeah, he thought with a few talented players coming into UCLA that he might not receive much playing time. Rodney Odom, that is, we're speaking of. Mm -hmm. State one of its last eight from the field. One of nine. Eaton got away with one. The 49ers on the run, and Terrell misses. Regained by Dotton. Nice control by Dotton, too. And Terrell hacked from behind that time by Justice Thigpen. The kind of defensive play that coaches hate to see a lazy foul. Well, that's the Mexican D, huh? The Matador. But this is one I thought that was undetected. Lead in. You get those bodies attached and hope you can walk to the stripe. That wasn't too subtle either. Oh, good mobility. Nice hook shot. Back of the iron, though. Hoiberg saves it to Eaton. Big fin. Good control. Didn't have it. Good return of the defense on a part of the 49ers. Meyer. They Big get, they, they like to put it up, don't they? They get good shots, though. Very simple. Guard goes off on a shuffle cut and screen the big guy. Johnson over in the corner. And Terrell can't find the ring. A foul on James. Is that on Kenneth Wiley? Yeah, I think they gave it to Wiley. Kenneth Wiley picks up the foul for the 49ers. Boy, Jeff Mullins has certainly done a nice job down there with that program, has he not? Well, Mullen was uh, uh, the AD down there, and then when Jim Valvano and North Carolina State had their disagreements, they decided to eliminate you could only coach or be an AD. And he, uh, he's, I think he's vice chancellor now, or vice president. <laughs> That's what I call uh, walking away from danger with a fat backside, huh? A little something in the wallet? No doubt about it. A little late, Wiley. That's two. Pippet, nice Brad cut. Pippet, mm -hmm. Trying to cut through. Wiley with the foul. UNC Charlotte, foul number 21, Kenneth Wiley. Second personal foul on Wiley, and that's the third team foul for the 49ers. That Duke connection on that bench over there. You got Kevin Billerman and Mullins, both former Dukies. I hate to tease G-Man. You had to wear Argyle's, Argyle socks in the old days. <laughs> I don't think either one of us ever had any, did we? Not at all. They stayed in the drawer. Eaton. Howard Eaton, the 6'6 six, six forward with the basket. And it's an 18-17. 49ers lead. 8 48 left in the first half of play. The 49ers, the number seven seed here in the East, playing the number 10 seed, Iowa State. Still attacking that corner, use the sideline. Should have passed it to the wing. Meyer with the rebound, throws it away. And alert Henry Williams comes up with the loose ball.
Hopefully these guys are quick. <laughs> they, all all the, well, the intensity <laughs> level, too, early in this game. I thought it heated up a little later in the Kentucky ODU game. Mm -hmm. A little more nerves, maybe by Kentucky particularly. A little double screen. Terrell. And he is having his troubles. 0 of 7 from the floor. Duvall trying to keep it alive. And finally, 1 of 8 from the floor for James Terrell. Officials let them play a little. You could, you could stay in this game as a player. And you know, you can tell by the expressions on the faces of the players, no complaints either. No. It's good, solid contact. Here's the same play they ran earlier for the jump shot. A little guard around now. Big Ben, three-point range. Side of the glass, rebounded by Duvall. Of course, Charlotte doing a nice job on the defensive glass. Wiley, with a two, score it. What Dennis makes, Wiley with a two. What makes Williams special, J.B., he'll give it up. Gabe Wiley in the open floor, the open opportunity. Tardy. Well, you hate to see those kinds of fouls. That one on Williams. The women's final four in two weeks on CBS. The art of brewing is about control. Controlling the process, the quality of the ingredients. Every little detail. That's how we bring you a great beer. Well, once it leaves here, you're the one in control. We want you to enjoy our beer. At a ball game. A barbecue. At dinner with the family. After work with friends. But please, drink responsibly. Remember, friends know when to say when. We'd all appreciate it. A reminder from the people who bring you Budweiser. We built this business. He was wearing those night vision goggles they make. Otherwise, he never could have seen me. Rescued me. They taught me computer drafting. I earned a degree. Now I've got a job. They make the parts that connect my pacemaker. Never thought I'd be around to tell you that. We built this business to build your dreams. It's not easy to pull yourself away from a bowl of Kellogg's Raisin Bran. For two scoops of raisins taste so good, you'll find that once you start, you can't leave me. Last year, the average price of a car with standard anti-lock brakes was over $40,000. But today, all that's changed. Because the company that offers more models with standard anti-lock brakes than anyone also offers the lowest priced car in America with standard anti-lock brakes. Chevy Cavalier. The heartbeat of America. The cars more people depend on. That's today's Chevrolet. You are watching the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. Johnny Orr has seen the Iowa State Cyclones try, but not successfully, to weather a 14-4 run by UNCC. Iowa State trailing 22-17 with 7.04 left in the first half. Big pin. A rope shot that connects. Within three, Henry Williams now bringing it up. I like this strategy of having him give it up, but then you've got to prevent him from getting it back. Bayless starting. Iowa State doing a good job of keeping him out, That's though. Great point. Mm -hmm. Williams not in scoring territory at all. James Terrell with the shot off the glass and rebounded by Mikalik. This is Iowa State. The number 10 seed on offense playing against the 7th seed here in the East, UNC Charlotte. James Brown along with Bill Raftery, a 14-4 run. What a drop off by Big Ben. And Iowa State starting to come back. 
It was a 14-4 run a couple of minutes ago that had UNCC ahead by four, and it's now a one-point ball game, 22-21, the 49ers of UNC Charlotte. And the reason Charlotte got ahead fast pace, even ahead for the open jump shots, Iowa State looking to run on occasion, but nice half-court use of the basketball. Duvall, nice move. Too easy. You know, while Iowa State does, in fact, have a size advantage on the inside, the big guys aren't powerful guys. They like the outside play instead. Mikulik is like to be out by the half-court line. And Broadhurst fouling Fred Hoiberg. Well, earlier here in Worcester, Kentucky got by Old Dominion in the last five minutes of the game. Had been a nip and tuck affair up until that point. Kentucky will await the, the winner, that is, of this contest between Iowa State and UNC Charlotte. Massachusetts in Fordham, Syracuse in Princeton in the evening sessions. Big pin into Eden. Eden collects himself and scores. Howard Eden averaging eight points a ball game. He's got seven. And it's a one-point ball game still. Iowa State trailing by one. 5-13 left in the first half of play. Well, Duval has been doing a nice job, but with a, a perimeter type of team, you occasionally forget the inside people. I would go back to him. Williams has been working hard throughout the first half. A foul that time called on Ron Bayless. Henry Williams averaging 20 points a game. He's got only four as Iowa State Bill has done a nice job of containing it. Doubling up, hedging, on the penetration, pinching. They're going to have to kick the ball and set some bumps for Williams. Nice the ball hands full there with New Mexico State. Oh, tough one there. Cincy and Delaware. Nice to see those new names, though, on board. Cincy trying to dust off some cobwebs of glory of old. Early 60s, back to back. Eaton. Bayless. Look at this kid rebound. He's a tough player, JB. The guy he's talking about is Fred Hoiberg, a freshman forward out of Ames, Iowa. Big eight freshman of the year and Mr. Everything in high school in Iowa. Mr. Basketball. They say he was a pretty good football player, too. Terrific without the ball. And Johnny Orr said, hey, I'm not thinking of retiring with guys like him around. Williams back of the iron and a foul underneath. I don't think got Mikalik or Eaton. Judging by Mikalik's expression, I it looks to be him. But they actually call it on Eaton. So Howard Eaton picks up the personal foul. His first 15 foul for Iowa State. The guy taking it out is usually the most named backspin that steps to the ball. And Williams was that man. Talk about a game of spurts and eight to two Iowa State run. And Iowa State is on top by one. Nine lead changes here in the first half. Pretty nice oh. pass. And Odom with the slams. Oh. Well, the big guy will get the credit. The little guy. Made it happen. You got to take care of those little guys. They sure they're taking the down. Nice pass over to Mikalik. Rebound is strong by Dot. Now Rue Dot. Oh, Hoiberg runs into his own man. Goes over to Iowa State. A little out of control, but the little guy creates. Williams doing an awful lot of things. The slip pass. Send it in, Rodney. That'll make you smile, Mr. Odom. Like a rock. Every Chevy S10 Blazer gives you the security of four-wheel anti-lock brakes, standard. Which helps you steer through a curve while braking. Without it, you don't have as much control. And now get the security of S10 Blazer plus $1,000 cash back only from Chevrolet. Like Chevy trucks. Standard arrow straight. The trucks you can depend on. The trucks that last. Like a rock. 
the morning belongs to Skin Bracer Aftershave. Its cool, brisk tingle really gets you going. And what a great scent. Skin Bracer. No better way to face the day Right now at Pizza Hut, get a supreme pizza loaded with six delicious toppings like mouth-watering pepperoni and green peppers. Call Pizza Hut Delivery and get a medium supreme for $7.99 and any other medium for just four bucks more. Call now. In an average week, he'll lift 40 tons of iron and run five miles almost straight up all before practice. But if you think he's tough, wait till you see the guys at the ticket window if you don't have your Visa card. Because once again, the Olympics don't take American Express Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. A contagious killer has flown into New York City. What's happening to me? Now it threatens every man, woman, and child. Kate Jackson, Quiet Killer Tuesday. Star forward for Kentucky, Jamal Mashburn, getting an early look at what the competition will be like on Sunday. Kentucky, of course, having knocked off ODU. Here it's 26-25, UNCC on top of Iowa State with 3-10. Left in the first half of play. And Odom changing up the mind of Ron Bayless. Coming up at halftime, at the half. A familiar name back in the studio, Pat O'Brien, along with Mike Francesa. I know Mike is enjoying all of this to the maximum. Absolutely, those two together. Having some fun, I'm sure. We're having some fun, even if it is wet fun. <laughs> I'm sure Mike listening most of the time. <laughs> Two, three set. They have not gotten a back cut, JB. The strength of their game. Got to get it up. Off the mark as Cedric Broadhurst gets the loose ball. This is Johnson. And Henry Williams a little frustrated that time that Delano Johnson held on to it a little too long. Williams has been working hard trying to get free, Billy, and they got to give him the ball when he is open. Odom off the glass. Broadhurst off the glass and misses. And J.B., the frustration because Iowa State paying attention to him. Williams can't get free that often. Tough here, Zig. That's why a lot of guys put a fist out to say, I'm going back door. So that type of play doesn't have a guy fakes going or coming out. He goes the other way. Under two to play in the first half. Bad miss that time by Delano Johnson. Now to finish your thought on Williams, Bayless is a phenomenal defender. He held Anthony Peeler around the 30% mark in three games. And we all know how good Anthony is, and he never got over 20 points in those games. So, Bayless wearing Henry. And Bayless also getting some help from his teammates, jumping out to stop Williams whenever he tries to make a move. Big pin, guarded by Terrell. Hoiberg, nice move, double clutches, and is fouled by Odom. Motion in there. <laughs> nice little screen. Uh, big guys have a difficulty when they're asked to counter-react. That is, take the first cut, help it if there is a switch, and then go to the man. Odom picks up the personal foul. That's foul number one. Odom generally stays out of foul trouble. As Hoiberg nails the first, the man nicknamed the mayor. 
Hoiberg, that is. Well, yeah. He was playing like this when he got there. What got them going was that, what, what did Johnny Orr tell us? We're the state champion. We've beaten everybody. That's right. <laughs> so in Iowa. Iowa said Iowa got them going. Those two free throws by Hoiberg. The first free throws for Iowa State. Wow. Now that is a frustration oh, shot. That sure is. With 34 seconds left on the shot clock, that's not what you'd call off a set play. Billy, that was about, what, 8 to 10 feet beyond the three-point line? Amazing. 30-foot jumper. <laughs> well, Look at that. you got to have strength, oh. courage, and the free reign by your coach. A lot of guys that get the hook. Sparky Anderson would have had him out, huh? Fella, set him up. Let him get a few easy ones. Uh, NCAA play, funny things happen. Things that don't go, don't, that go smoothly during the year. Occasionally, other people looking at, say, prepare a little better. You're forced to go to options. Uh, Broadhurst tries to make the second free throw. Mikalik comes in to replace Norman Brown for Iowa State. And Broadhurst, only a 54% free throw shooter, drops in the second one. 28-26 ball game. Iowa State on top with 105 left. Odom blocks an attempted dunk by Hoiberg. Well, get the tell out. Hoiberg's got to get the yoke off the face. And Dotton completes the play with the basket, and we're tied. Broadhurst with a gorgeous look. Big pin. Counter. He wanted that one badly. Clearly he wanted that one. Big pin. With eight points. Got a little problem with the clock. 36.1 seconds left on the game clock. And you see the shot clock with no time. Donnie Gray, the official, trying to sort matters out here. The last 36.1 seconds of the first half, all tied between Iowa State and Jeff Mullins' 49ers of UNC Charlotte. And Billy, has the first half been what you expected? Uh, I thought Williams would play within himself a little bit. I'm very surprised how Iowa State has disturbed him and disrupted their flow. Henry Williams with the ball, the leading scorer for the 49ers with a 20-point average on the season. He has only four in the first half. Uh, Baylor's trying to do a job out with a little nickel timer. Half court by Thigpen with the reach in. It's so tempting. Thigpen picks up the personal foul. As you take a look at the brackets in game one here in Worcester, Kentucky over Old Dominion. Kentucky now awaits the winner of this contest, Iowa State and UNC Charlotte. Massachusetts and Fordham to come later on in the evening set along with Syracuse mm. and Princeton. So many people looking forward to seeing that one, the different style, contrasting styles. How many coaches do you think anxiously look forward to playing Princeton in the first round? No, not unless they're retiring. <laughs> Pete has a way of putting you away, quickly. James Terrell drops in his first free throw, first point, as Rick Patino, obviously scouting, and Peter Strickland there, who coached in Ireland uh, a few years ago, the ODU assistant. You know, getting ready a little bit. Peter Strickland, ex Damatha guy. Mm -hmm. A lot of Damatha players and coaches up in this region here. Well, Morgan, Hall of Famer, writing books now, trying to catch up with you. Five seconds left as Hoiberg launches a shot. Meyer. Eaton. Three shots at it, and Iowa State can't get it to drop. So the 49ers of UNC Charlotte lead Johnny Orr Cyclones by the score of 31 to 29. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Pat O'Brien and Mike Francesa will be along in a moment. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the first round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Starter. Look for the stars and you'll find Starter. Visa, official card and traveler's check of the 1992 Olympic Games. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. And by Pringles, so fresh, once you pop, you can't, you can't, you can't stop.
Get potato chips are going to cross your lips. Keep them fresh. Make them fine all the time. That's Pringles. Pop the Pringles. Not like chips in a bag. They don't stay fresh. It's a brag. Candles bag with bust to pieces. Get your hands full of greases. We've got whole crunchy chips. Clean and crispy to your lips. Pringles. UNC Charlotte holding to a two-point lead here at halftime. And we'll return to the Centrum after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship. Honda, maker of fine quality automobiles. Test drive a Honda at your local dealer today. Energizer brand batteries. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. And, and by Bud, dry, dry brood so it drinks light yet satisfies completely. <laughs> One more half to go to find out which of these two teams will meet Kentucky, the 49ers or the Cyclones. And speaking of Kentucky, Curry Kirkpatrick is standing by with Rick Pitino. Curry. Thanks, thanks, JB. We have Rick Pitino of Kentucky through to the next round. Rick, Charlotte and Iowa State, not, not much to choose between the true. Who would you rather play? You know, it really doesn't matter, but they do pose different problems, certainly. You have to stop the great backcourt of North Carolina and Charlotte, although they are big. And I always stay the very physical team at times, so either team, it really doesn't matter. Rick, this is old home week for you. Uh, you went to Massachusetts, coached down the road at Providence College. Has it, has it been wonderful coming back? It has been. You gotta stay away from the distractions now, fortunately. It's been great for me. I wish, it, wish we were in a different region for our fans, though. We, we bring a lot of people, and we didn't have that many today. Thanks a lot, Rick. Good, good, good luck to you. Back to you, JB. All right, Curry, and Justice Thigpen coming back quickly for Iowa State as he knocks home a jumper. And Iowa State in, on top by one, 32-31. And Bayless all over Williams, JB, and they have a little history, don't they? That they do. As a matter of fact, Bayless said that he would, in fact, shut down Williams as Daryl Duvall throws down the baseline jumper. These two guys play against each other in high school in Indianapolis. And, Billy, what's the deal there? Well, they, uh, Henry won two out of three, uh, but he's not gotcha. having an easy go right now with all the support he's getting. Hoiberg bumped by Wiley. No foul call. And you're right, Bayless has, in fact, received some help in shutting down Henry Williams in the first half. Williams averaging 20 points on the season. Only four in the first half. Look how they stretch this defense. We'll see this tonight when Princeton comes out. They deploy using all the wood. Nicoli can't get the drop. That spread offense for Iowa State works to the big men's advantage. They are quick. Oh. Williams can't find the range. Up ahead to Big Ben. To Mickley. Runs the floor well. And he does. And to get back by Justice. His daddy's on him. An old Pittsburgh Piper. Now that's before your time at the ABA. <laughs> Connie Hawkins era. But I do remember. I do remember. You read about it. That's right. Now the Hawk, another Hall of Famer. Julius Mickley with the basket for Iowa State. Duvall over to Odom. Odom got away with the walk that time, but scored. Nice, aggressive move. Though. Nice moves for the big man, period. He really is agile. See, Rodney's not used to playing outside with a guy like Nikolik. He likes to bump up down low. Bayless off the front of the iron. This is Williams. Odom. Hoiberg with the rebound. This is Thick Ben. Up ahead to Eaton. Eaton with the wide open jumper can't convert. Nice. The tap in by Julius Nikoli. Odom did not get down and check out. Just went straight up, relied on ability. Nikoli with seven points, averaging 12 on the season. You notice Eaton now doubling up, making Stay Williams up, give up. it up. Just good team coordination by Iowa State. Duvall backing his way in, still can't get the drop. Gets the rebound and a walking violation. Good hustle by Duvall, but it nets nothing. Uh, Rodney, as you mentioned, he's got a few steps out of this, but mm -hmm. the aggressive nature is something as he collects and finishes. They'll need a little more run. 36-35, Cyclones on top. Cyclones is the number 10 seed from the Big 8. Big 8 did have six representatives in the NCAA field. Now it's down to five. UNC Charlotte, a number seven seed, and the ball stays. Iowa State, DePaul. 
battle back from a 14-point halftime deficit, trailing by just five now. Cincinnati comfortably ahead of Delaware. Cincinnati, a team that just disturbs you with their changes defensively. Not easy to prepare for. And it's been a close affair here all afternoon. Neither team shot particularly well, as a matter of fact, below their season's average in the first half. And there have been 17 lead changes. Using the floor. Big pin. Deep corner shot for three. Rebounded by Dyer. This is Williams. Henry Williams trying to find a way to get oh. off. Finally done. The lingerie is lingering behind. As Williams points to the scorer's table and to the announce <laughs> table saying, I think I'm back. Well, he had to relax a little <laughs> as they post up Hoiberg. But this will leave a lot of excess baggage behind as you're back on your heels <laughs> defensively. <laughs> Explosive. Shake, bake, and take it. Strong to the goal. He really is one effervescent young man. He is explosive. A very personal guy, as you know. Big pin. Boy, big pin. Starting to uncork. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven, and Billy, you talked at the top about Big Pin and Williams, and they're trying to heat up. Well, that's not really any great insight into the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> two premier players. Well, I wanted to give you a little uh, credit. Broadhurst would love to have that one back. And Dotton called for traveling. It'll be Iowa State ball when we come back. Say you can please some of the people all of the time, and all of the people some of the time. But you can't please all of the people all of the time. Or can you? Special Accord leases are now available. See your nearest Honda dealer for details. Five hours in a balloon, how romantic. Five hours? What about my diarrhea? Don't worry, honey. I brought the Fermatine. Still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a new temptation. Stay free to bell grande. It's a sick sensation. Do a Taco Bell, it'll make your mouth water for a sick sensation. Better run for the boy. She'll be crushed, but I need my space, my freedom. Ah, uh, just tell her. Bob, I'm leaving you for an Anheuser-Busch wholesaler. What? Why don't you know what you've got till it's gone? But we're so perfect. Why ask why? Try Bud Dry. It's dry brewed, not watered down. She'll be back to drink light and satisfied completely. So while love isn't easy... Can you get me some free beer? Refreshment is... Thank you, doctor. I'm not a real doctor. But if I were, I'd recommend ligament for occasional muscle pain. Still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. Nobody's born a bigot. Back here at the Centrum in Worcester, Massachusetts. First round action here in the East. Number 10, Iowa State taking on the seventh seeded 49ers of UNC Charlotte. A one point ball game. Iowa State ahead. This is Thick Fan for three. Odom with the rebound. Coaches love to come with a play off a timeout. A little double screen for Thick Fan with a quick release, JB. Nice cut. Oh. Good pass over to Odom. Nice unselfish move by Henry Williams while he has not gotten off offensively, could have been selfish on that. Slight of hand, but comfortable now. I thought he was forced and it didn't relax that time. The penetration and the wizardry. Of course, Walt Williams is the wizard. Oh, yes. Merlin Great. Walt Williams definitely has a stake on that name. Young man playing for the Terrapins of Maryland. One heck of a ball player. And this is one with the ball, Hoiberg. 
Bayless. Good hustle by Broadhurst. Broadhurst has been doing that all afternoon off the bench. They could get some post offense that would really help Henry Williams. And Odom's not an easy, he's not a bad player down there. He and Eden working hard. Williams for a deep three. Ah, Odom with the rebound. Boy, the big fella has been doing a nice job underneath. I mean, Odom fouled by Fred Hoiberg. He has gone, gone after it, but this is that pretty back cut and the presence of mind, as you mentioned, unselfish, acknowledging that Odom's strong. I don't know that Odom wouldn't have gotten a lot of playing time had he stayed at UCLA, Billy. Well, they really didn't have a center, as it turned out. Uh -huh. It's a uh, forward-dominated shooting team, McLean and Tracy Murray, but that's not a bad year for them either. Not at all. Well, Jeff Mullen's glad to have him here. Odom leads all UNCC scores with 11 points. Henry Williams takes a seat on the bench. James Terrell in his place. Well, what was the line one of them gave us uh, about they like the inside game because the guys don't shoot? That's UNCC's guards philosophy. 49ers out in front by three with 14-20. Left in the game. Big pen, Hoiberg, Nicolee. Spread the floor, reverse it a few times. Ryan Pearson and Howard Eaton, the five on the floor for Iowa State. And Eaton helped the official with that call as Mauro Dutton picks up the personal foul. A strong push Rude. by Mauro Dutton. <laughs> An unruly push <laughs> by Mauro. Yeah, that's his nickname, as Jeff told us. First personal on Mauro Dutton. Second team foul for the 49ers. Big pin launches a three. He nails it. Justice Big Pin averaging 15 points on the season. He's got 16. He likes the bright lights. Pearson in there, a pretty good shooter as well. So they've got some people who can face the ball. Broadhurst gets it back. Nice play. Good touch pass. For that, would you say? <laughs> you know, I guess there's no such thing as a touch pass with him. 6'6, 220 pounds. Now you're tired when you finish playing Iowa State. They're all cutting, quick motion. And Thick Pin looks like he's ready to go to work. Hoiberg, nice follow. Fred Hoiberg with the follow, and it's a tie ball game. <laughs> Stepping up the pressure a little bit without Williams in there, looking to double if they can get the opportunity. Broadhurst looking for Odom on the inside. And I believe they got Howard Eaton on the foul as Rodney Odom tries to work free. You mentioned the ability to get it back. That was almost like a ricochet. That's what the post guys are for. Give it up. And Hoiberg, who we mentioned in the first half, a guy that's got great ability in or out, goes without the basketball, and has that uncanny ability to offensive rebound. Henry Williams back in the lineup. Attempted follow that time, no good. Ryan Pearson over to Justice Big Pen. Big Pen, you can tell he's feeling the Billy. Yeah, he is. He's dancing a little bit. Little shake and bake, trying to get by Williams. But he won't force the shot. He plays within this 2-3 set. Nice back cut. He almost had him. They've been looking to get one all game. This offense here, a little similar to the Princeton, Princeton offense. Very much. Mm -hmm. Syracuse ought to be scouting this game, huh? Nice step through. And Mickley can't get the drop. The 6-11 player from Czechoslovakia. We'll take a trip to the free throw line. Boy, Eddie Sutton's team, Oklahoma State looking good. DePaul still trying to hang in. New Mexico State doing a nice job. Mm, sure are. And, and we looked over at the Iowa State bench. Jim Hallahan is the assistant standing up, and he does a lot of the physical nature of the business, so John can relax and get ready for the golf season. But he said that he lets Hallahan talk to Nicoli. 
they have an understanding of one another. There they are, the two. Uh, screen right is Helen and Johnny relaxed. Johnny Orr said he thought he would have retired about five years ago, but he's having fun because they're winning. All these good kids, he said. Mm -hmm. Because back home in Massachusetts, where it all started for him. Coached at the university. Two-point lead by Iowa State. Dot. Well, he can touch pass, but squeezing that apple, and Mikalik with that side knows he got away with one. <laughs> Nice look and just a miscue. And that good defense, faulty offense. Dodden thinking a little bit ahead to what he was anticipating mm -hmm. was going to be a vicious dunk. Mm -hmm. Julius Mikalik. Johnny Orr very pleased with this play as Howard Eaton takes a seat on the bench. Lauren Meyer in the lineup for Iowa State. That's Ryan with the ball. Meyer's been up and down, according to the coaches. Hoiberg for three. Oh. Hoiberg is a very poised player, Billy. Isn't rattled at all. Well, that's going to set up some back cuts. Big Penn and Hoiberg making the deep ones. They're going to have to be a little more aggressive outside. Five points, the biggest lead. Iowa State has enjoyed 48-43. They have a chance to add to it. And an attempted steal that time and foul. Henry Williams. Hey, folks, we've had a dandy 21 lead changes and five ties. Both teams, believe it or not, shooting below their season's field goal percentage. But we've got a tight ball game. Five-point lead by Iowa State, the biggest lead that either team has enjoyed in the game. And the overall approach defensively by Iowa State in containing Williams, very effective. We broke through a little earlier because this court set's been tough to control for UNCC. Broadhurst with the rebound, and Broadhurst has really been springing off the bench and on the floor. Eight rebounds for Broadhurst. He brings some excitement to the floor for them. He makes things go. That he does. Here's the guy that should take it to the goal. Nice pass, Broadhurst. And Broadhurst is fouled by Mikalik. Nice pass from Odom. Not hard to believe that Broadhurst is the best dunker on the team. Not a great shooter, but can score. And really help explain that someone's not a great shooter, but they can score. Well, you get them a lot of shots. You get them in a position where you can create for them versus the guy that pops out and shoots that minimum amount of shots and makes them. Gets eight, makes six. Scores need more shots, more opportunities, but can be as damaging. Odom tries to keep it alive. It'll be Iowa State ball. 48-44, 11 6 remaining in the ball game. Iowa State on top. I saw a glimpse of Jeff Mullins there. He's been a winner every place he's been. Meyer now makes Mikalik a little more of a cutter and available. Dotton has to come out and play him. Meyer being the big center, they use him for the brush screens and the screen aways. Pearson, Hoiberg, Meyer, Big Ten, and Mikalik, the five on the floor for Iowa State. Fans thought Hoiberg walk, he did not, and he gets the basket. Out jump there, down under 10 on the shot clock sequence. Biggest lead of the game. Iowa State on top by six with 10-16. Left to play. Go down screen for Williams. Iowa State trying to pull the upset here. Williams, nice pass to Odom. Great, great look. Well, that's his game. He doesn't have to ring the bell. Create for others. Attract attention and get rid of it. Pearson throws it off the hand of Julius Mikkeli. It'll be 49ers basketball. Well, Odom could make a living, huh? Just keeping the hand set. He's had them up since breakfast. <laughs> Play with Williams. You don't want a red face. Catch it. Had the hands up since breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's their game. Not to force it. Drive, dish. Ryan Pearson. Way oh. the block. You saw it coming. Henry. 
I don't go inside against you. This is just gorgeous timing. Yeah, there is contact, but let it go. The lightest variety. On a little scrape. Oh. The action, but that was just after a terrific message. And Pearson saying, I didn't see that in high school. Pearson nails the first. He's one of those three-point shooters, and that puts them in deep trouble. Henry's got to be in the flow for UNCC. One of two for Pearson. Big pin gets the rebound. Stolen by the 49ers. Ahead to Terrell. Collects himself and scores. So Iowa State could have added to its lead instead of the turnover. And the 49ers cut it back to three. Nice pass by Mikalik. And it's a 53-48 Iowa State lead, 9.05 left in the game. Iowa State trying to pull the upset over the number seven seed, UNC Charlotte. Nice play here. They either use the post guy or the double finish. Williams in and out, followed by Dotton. Malru Dotton, the big fella, drops in his eighth point, two over his average. Pretty well designed. That got your big guys down on the block for the offensive finish. Back to a three-point ball game. Iowa State on top. Big pin, feeling it. Let's go. <laughs> Whose ball is it? Correct, correct call. Stays Iowa State. Correct call. Johnny Gray right on top of it. Bob Garibaldi in concert. Nice little eight fouls. Fouled by Dotton. A breakdown defensively sure that time. Was. Little brush. And not enough support. An easy lane to the basket. Well, a lot of guys like zone on the out of bounds for this reason. You got everybody along the baseline. You don't concede that lay of potential. Hey, Bill, a little subtle thing. Also, Iowa State did not give UNC Charlotte any chance to set up defensively. They got the ball from the referee and pass it in right quickly. Guys napping before they're settled. Howard Eaton dropping in the first. Struggled a bit in conference play, but got better down the road. Howard Eaton, one of two at the free throw line. Odom with the rebound. A four point lead for Iowa State. Broadhurst, Terrell, Williams, Odom, and Maru Dotton, the five in white for UNC Charlotte. He's shocked he was that open, J.D. Mm -hmm. Dotton gets the rebound. Fresh 45. Plenty of time. Terrell. Easy shot for UNC Charlotte. Won't drop. One of ten for James Terrell. That's Pearson for two. Just two. The on the line. Mm -hmm. That's his game. You got to come up on him. 7.43 left in a game. Iowa State nursing a six-point lead. Williams for three. That's why I said nursing. You can't rest with this squad. What a stroke. Down to three, and Eaton is fouled. Take your pick, Broadhurst or Terrell. I think they gave it to Broadhurst. All right. Get back and get set. Both clubs push the basketball. Look to organize off the break in a half court set. And there's a guy that Johnny Carson theme song hears. Johnny usually played at home. And that surprised a lot of people, but not those people who watch Tulane all year. I talked about Jeff Mullins in glasses there, being a winner wherever he's been. Mr. Basketball in Kentucky back in 1960. Misses the free throw. He, Howard Heaton. You like the way Mullins used to shoot that jumper? Oh, boy. Duke University did as well. He led them to back-to-back -back Final Fours in 63 and 64. Think of big movers when you think of them. I got away with that pass. Ah, brought her. Should have gone for the shot. 
Oklahoma State by 27 over Georgia Southern. So Eddie Sutton squad moves on. And we move on to a commercial break with Iowa State ahead by three. Women's Final Four in two weeks on CBS. Power. Applied intelligently, its effects are magnificent. Witness the Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, powered by the world's largest 24-valve V6 engine and an electronic transmission. Its performance measured not simply in miles per hour, but by a slightly different gauge. Miles per gallon. Oldsmobile. The power of intelligent engineering. The Oldsmobile drive to the Final Four Celathon. It's your best shot for a great deal now. If I want to keep playing baseball, I'm going to have to keep working. There's no off-season anymore. Every day it's just me and a pile of iron. Or a bike I ride forever. And when I get sore, I take Advil. It's strong, it works, and I know it helps. And Advil's gentler on my stomach than aspirin. To last as long as I have, you got to stick with what works. That's why I use Advil. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. If you're looking for a shampoo that's tough on dandruff, nothing works better than this. Head and Shoulders Intensive Treatment, with the most effective medicine you can buy without a prescription. There's no better treatment than Head and Shoulders Intensive Treatment. We dare you to have dandruff. Women, no better way to face the day. The morning belongs to Skin Bracer Aftershave. Its cool, brisk tingle really gets you going. And what a great scent. Skin Bracer. No better way to face the day. Championship on CBS. Well, don't say that the Kentucky players aren't students of the game hanging in throughout the entire game scouting. Well, JB, a couple of them aren't paying close attention now. I'm sure Rick won't rely on their input. Well, they were actually awakened before the audience got a chance to see it, so. <laughs> well, better here than in the hotel room. Or in the tape session. 56-53, Iowa State on top. 6-54 left in the game. The number 10 seed leading the number 7 seed. Got an ISO for him. Williams for three. Got it. And it will be called traveling. Right Everybody now. Knows. Go ahead. I was just going to say. <laughs> oh, that's the shot. Oh, oh. That, that was usually my timeout. <laughs> so Most Artie, of my guys would be acting that way. I can't believe Artie Kemper kept that shot. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, that guy will be running laps for Patino. But then again, they deserved the nap. They did put in a good performance in game number one, knocking off ODU and awaiting the winner of this game here for round two for Worcester on Sunday. Oh, right there. Hoiberg, nice shot. All game. They've been running that guard around and doing a good job. 13 for Hoiberg, one above his season's average. Only a freshman. And Williams trying to work his way for a shot. That 2-3 that set. Interesting, the screen away, the step up. The pass to the post is what killed them. But just excellent going without the ball, as noted. Great Hoiberg. example. Great example, again, of movement without the ball. Motion offense working. Their spread and their continuing use of it. And a nice job by Pearson. Going to the goal at one time, the deep two-pointer. And Bayless able to match up on Williams. Williams does a nice job of drawing the foul, drawing attention to it with a double clutch. Bayless just back into the ball game, replacing Brian Pearson. Second personal foul on Bayless, sixth team foul for Iowa State. Five point lead by Iowa State, 58-53, six minutes left in the contest. Williams at the free throw line, having some difficulty to say the least from three point land. He's only one of six. Give Johnny Orr a little bit of credit for masterminding some nice defense to take him out of his game. And the look of concern, too. I think UNC's doing a better job hitting the offensive glass on misses. But the defensive end has paid attention to Williams. God, there's the back cut, they didn't go. 
Same play, JB. Now picture what I was saying earlier. If Big Ben puts a fist out, he's informing the point guard, Mikali, the, the man with the basketball that time, that he's going to go. There's no question in either's mind that there will be a back cut. Can't be any indecision right. like that. We'll turn it over. Both teams with nine turnovers, speaking of turnovers. Tough to beat clubs with the dribble. Got to get it into the post. And Dotton. Look at him go after the top. Boy, knocking bodies around. And Odom. Corp strong. Still can't get it. Nikolic with the rebound. He's on target. I mean, that was. Uh, and Henry Williams came down trying to avoid Eden, who was on the floor, and may have wrenched his knee. Oh, would well, that be crucial? As Howard Eaton fell on the floor, Williams was trying to avoid him and watch him come down, Billy. Oh, this was set up early. No reason for Eaton to get in there. And the rollover, as you mentioned. So Eaton actually looked like he may have hit him. We got Williams right in here, JB, and we'll just check and see what happens at the end of it. His body hit that knee. Trying to jam in to Watch help it. that. Oh, right there. my Ooh. goodness. You know, hopefully it was lower than the knee, James. But he's grabbing that right knee, the right outside of the knee. You know, you see that so often in football where a running back may have his leg planted when he's hit. And the good thing yes. is that he did, in fact, lift his leg up as opposed to taking the full brunt of it. And now what he's upset about is he has to go out and have to charge the timeout. And this is how he was right after the contact. Fluke situation. Now, if it is not serious, it will be important for him to get back in right. quickly to keep loose. He's got to wait, wait till it's inbounded at least once. Thompson, Broadhurst, Dotton, Terrell, Rodney Odom. The five on the floor for UNC Charlotte. Terrell from three-point land. Well, they forget their big guys, don't they? Oh, boy, they need to remember him. Dotton and Odom down there begging. Boyberg with the rebound. A three-point Iowa State lead. Make it five. Nicolay, excellent look. Good cut. And Eden with the score. And the steal by Bayless. Oh, on the shot. Hammered. They're going to give it a shot, and it'll be a three-pointer. Malro Dotton, and you saw Mikalik. He asked, hey, is that a three? Oh, it should is be. Is that a three? Not yours saying it. Let's see what they call. And Bob Garibaldi's waving it off, saying he had it, not just. <laughs> I don't blame Johnny. Trying to force it anyway. Oh. So it's a one and one situation instead. Eighth team foul for UNCC. Well, the initial, uh, he was inside, yeah. mm -hmm. so it wouldn't have mattered. But you can't, it off. you can't fault the kid Mickey for asking, you know. That's right. <laughs> Our guy's right on top of it. Julius Mikalik, a 77% free throw shooter on the season. He's got 10 thus far. That's what you call a sales pitch. Czechoslovakia to Ames. Mm -hmm. Think about that. That's a long way from home. But then again, well, no, I guess I, yeah, you're right. Good sales pitch. Great atmosphere, and I'm sure he enjoyed that when he first saw it. Have you been there for a home game? It's absolutely wild in that building. That's why they upset so many people. Or beat people, not all of them are upsets. Iowa State trying to add to its biggest lead of the game, Big Ten, and he does. A 64-55 lead, and Jeff Mullins has to talk it over with 4.07 left in the game. I'd like to make a simple point about a gasoline additive called Krogar. You see, without proper care, even new car engines accumulate deposits that can lead to a rough-running engine. Fortunately, there's a Progar. Added to a single tank full of gasoline, Progar's patented tech on chemistry begins cleaning deposits not only from fuel injectors, but throughout your engine's intake system for a noticeably smoother performance. Progar for a smoother running engine. There are those who say it could only have come from Honda or maybe Toyota. 
It's intelligent engineering. The way a car ought to be made. An idea that's come home. Introducing the Achieva Sport Sedan by Oldsmobile. Never has so much thought gone into this much fun. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. The Oldsmobile drive to the Final Four Celathon. It's your best shot for a great deal now. Everybody hates to eat and run. We'd rather take it slow. But the way this life is going, gotta grab your food and go. And when all that running round catches up with you at last, get yourself some Alka-Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. For acid indigestion. Game 64-55 over UNC Charlotte. 4:07 left in the game. Iowa State trying to hold on for the upset. Hey, James, Darrell and Williams, 5 for 25, 20%. Mm. And Henry Williams gets the basket for UNC Charlotte. But Iowa State, the number 10 seed here in the East Region, trying to hold on for the upset of the seventh seed at UNC Charlotte 49ers. 3.36 left in the ball game. James Brown along with Bill Raftery. And Bill, it's been a nip and tuck ball game most of the way. Well, the, the defense by Iowa State on Williams and Terrell particularly, they're normally 44% of their offense. They're only getting 20% at 5 for 25. That's been important for Iowa State. UNC, not getting nice for ah. move. The big guy, victimized, it was bound to happen. Not used to playing that far from the goal. We said at the top, Julius Mikalik was a pleasant surprise for Johnny Orr this season, and he showed why. He's got 13 points, one above his average. Dot. Boy, that uses that body nicely. Mm -hmm. They should use him nicely. A I little agree. bit more. I agree. Johnny Orr wanted to go inside. <laughs> now, you mentioned Johnny Orr, the guy right there usually allows his assistant to do most of the active moving along the bench. Huh? Well, he can feel this one with three minutes left. He might as well exert some influence. But that's confidence in your staff. He's been through a lot, whether Mass or Michigan. And gotten in an area that's had their difficulties in the real estate business, investing on that shot. Dutton. Man has been an academic on the academic honor road three straight Brad, semesters. So not only doing it on the court, but off the court. And look at Nicolik with the behind the back move and put Odom on the floor. Dotton with the rebound. What a move by the big fella. 6-11. He knows the game. The games we were watching, he did some magical things. Boy, Odom will not like to see the highlight that time. Falling on the floor, trying to go for the behind the back dribble. Broadhurst, short. Eden with the rebound. 2.30 left in the game. 66 57. Iowa State on top. Hey, James, you may see some back cuts now. Iowa State very good going out the ball, and UNC C liable to gamble. Both teams with 18 fouls. The single bonus situation. Running some clock unless they get an easy one. Iowa State with three timeouts with eight. The 49ers with two, and there's an offensive charge. Odom, heads up play on the floor, but he prefers to be on the floor this time as opposed to the previous time. Well, this is a couple of 6'10", 6'11", guys. One handling the other. Oh. The stare would look on in disdain. <laughs> Gorgeous control with the bounce. Now, how many times do you think Odom's friends will remind him of that one? <laughs> Family. 66 57, 150 left in the game. Iowa State trying to complete the upset. Terrible. A two. Two of 12, and Iowa State throws it away. That man, Terrell, again, as Jeff Mullins calls a timeout. The 49ers trailing Johnny Orr's team by five with 128 left in the game. East 
region first round action between the number seven seed UNC Charlotte and the 10th seed at Iowa State Cyclones. Iowa State on top by five with 128 remaining. James Brown along with Bill Raftery and while UNC Charlotte has not been able to get the productivity from the backcourt, they have hung in the game with other performance coming through. Plus some strong performance when you think of the defense of Iowa State. Doing a job on Henry Williams. We take a look at our game summary now. Bring people up to date. Look at those lead changes. <laughs> 21 <laughs> lead changes and five ties. And Iowa State has improved its field goal shooting. That accounts again for the difference in the score. UNCC shooting below its average from the field, 39%. But we've had a good ball game. Kentucky in game one shook off a pesky and hustling ODU team. Kentucky advances to the second round action on Sunday from here in Worcester. Kentucky will await the winner of this contest later on this evening. It'll be Massachusetts and Fordham and Syracuse and Princeton. And James, who... Take a look at some of the night basketball games. Wake Forest, Louisville. Chris will be here. Howard versus Kansas. Fordham, Massachusetts, 7:30. And Temple and Michigan. But this Iowa State game against UNCC, you think of the defense. Patino getting ready. He's going to have to prepare. They take you out of things. Bayless has done a great job on Henry Williams with the team helping as well. The half court offense, Nicoly finding people. They've been going without the basketball and getting good shots. UNCC relying on the three-pointers. They're only one of 13, as the graphics showed. And they're also relying on Williams and Terrell. They've got to get some inside baskets, get something out of their pressure now if they're going to sneak back in this. We talk about that backcourt starting combination of UNC Charlotte. Only 21 points in the game from those two combined. So Johnny Orr has certainly done the job there. UNC Charlotte with one timeout remaining and a foul is called. Three timeouts remaining for Iowa State with 1.27 left. Possession arrow in favor of the 49ers. And that one, when you're behind, you only have one. It makes it difficult to stop the clock and get organized. So they're going to have to communicate well on a score in a defensive full court pressure situation. Deshaun Thompson takes a seat on the bench. Ron Bayless at the free throw line. He's got five points on the afternoon, seven below his average. Make it six. His and it's a six point lead by Iowa State. His contribution has been at the other end. No, he's going to smile after this one if Iowa State holds on because Bayless said that he would, in fact, shut down Henry Williams. He's held him to seven points below his average with some help. Williams hits a three and maybe speaking a little too quickly here. Williams with 16 points and is down to a four-point Iowa State lead. Back in Worcester, Iowa State on top by four, 116 remaining, and a quick foul as James Terrell fouls Justice Thigpen. UNCC Charlotte out of timeouts. Iowa State a full complement. Both teams in a single bonus situation, nine apiece. Possession arrow in favor of the 49ers. And when you look at Jeff Holland's club, great preparation. Go for the steal. Be aggressive, don't get it, stop the clock quickly. So all the communication has been done in practice to prepare for these situations. We saw the score there as Cincinnati, a final and a winner. Jeff Mullins looking on. Big pin at the free throw line for one and one. And Big Pin nails the first one. 19 points for Justice Big Pin, four above his season bat. Make it 20 and a six point lead for Iowa State with 110 left in the game. Williams gets a pick from Odom. And the deep jumper for three is off the mark by Thompson. Could be and a intentional. Foul. Yep. Good call. Good call. Get the two plus the ball. 
You want to be aggressive on the miss, the errant toss. An egg fall, and right away trying to stop it. It can't be that obvious. You've got to slap on the wrist or make it some incidental contact, but foul, not grab or anything direct or overt. Jeff Mullins keeping on top of the action there as he's talking to James Terrell, trying to keep us going. 49ers trailing by six. 70 to 64. Big pin at the line. Misses the first. More action coming up tonight. Most of you will see Wake Forest taking on Louisville. The game's in red asterisk there to points of local interest. Those were 730 starts. And Big Pen missing both free throws. But as you mentioned, Bill Raftery, Iowa State still with the ball. Big Pen will inbounds. Oh, no foul. Be now it is. Hoiberg, yeah, he's and shoved. Hoiberg does get the foul called on him. Well, that's the ideal if you UNCC. Clock not moving. It is a giveaway. Hoiberg doesn't have to get involved. You've got to avoid that kind of position. He's saying he just fell. The step forward as we get right in here. The step. You can't get involved even though there is a fake. Some theatrics involved in all of life. You've got to make a circular cut in that situation. Don't give the officials a chance to see it. And you win the double bonus situation now. Ten team fouls for both as Henry Williams will attempt two free throws. An 81% free throw shooter. He drops in the first. And they're saying they got the wrong shooter on the line. Johnny Orr screaming and hollering. <laughs> Johnny, they say, no, we got the right shooter. <laughs> Jeff Mullins isn't arguing. Not at all. <laughs> watch out, watch out. And Williams nails both. A four-point ball game, under a minute to play. And a foul call on Williams. Lengthening the game. Wise philosophy. You, on the other hand, Iowa State have to make the free throws in this situation if you're going to walk out and move on. And again, both teams in the double bonus situation as Fred Hoiberg travels to the free throw line and 82% free throw shooter. A little better situation. The right to face Kentucky. On the line. Misses the first as Brian Pearson comes in for Iowa State, replacing Howard Eaton. And when you're out of timeouts, as Charlotte happens to be, giving those fouls immediately, have been able to get this close. Mauro Dodden in, replacing Bershawn Thompson, and Lauren Meyer comes in to replace Brian Pearson. One of two for Hoiberg, a five-point ball game with 57 seconds remaining. Iowa State has to make Williams use the dribble, take time to score. Don't want to foul if at all possible. And they must Odom for three. Wow, he gets it. A three-point shot by Odom. 17 points, and it's a two-point ball game. The big guy, confident in his stroke, earlier took that foul line. Not everybody expecting Williams, Rodney Odom, converting. <laughs> First, I was looking at my sheet. I don't think he's taking a three, or that's the first one he's made. It's the first one he's made. <laughs> Unlikely. Bayless with both. 73, 69. 
38 seconds left. They could go for the two. Williams. And Dotton over the back as Hoiberg will take a trip to the free throw line. Hoiberg showed you something there, didn't he? The physicalness of that particular area of the country, and he's able to hold off enough to get the foul. Again, a review of the scores. Tulane with a big victory over St. John's. Michigan State holding on and holding off Southwest Missouri State. Kentucky with the spurt in the last five minutes of the game up in the ODU. Oklahoma State, a big winner over Georgia Southern. And Hoiberg missing the first free throw again. The front end of the free throws causing Hoiberg a problem. Four of six from the free throw line on the afternoon for Hoiberg. 74-69, 30 seconds left. Williams to Terrell, and Terrell. Broadhurst battling, gets the rebound. Can't get the drop, but does on the follow. Got to give one right away. They got the clock stopped as the ball goes into An the... An official stoppage of yeah. play. Three points separating the two teams with 16.1 seconds remaining. And Johnny Orr calls a timeout with Iowa State nursing a three-point lead. Iowa State up by three. 16.1 seconds remaining. The touchdown pass to Hoiberg and the slam. Well, Johnny Orr not sleeping over there. They bear to man everybody, sent the long home run play. And Williams with the three just to narrow the gap. But Iowa State pulls off the upset. The number 10 seed over the number 7 seed by 2.76-74. team did a masterful job defensively, specifically Ron Bayless on Henry Williams, although Williams closes up the game with that deep three there. So the final score of game two here in the East Region, Iowa State 76-74 over UNCC. So the matchup is set for Sunday between Kentucky and Iowa State. The Chevrolet players of the game are Julius, make that Julius Nikolik, 13 points, five rebounds from Iowa State, and Henry Williams, 21 points and six assists for UNCC. And now for Bill Raftery, this is James Brown, and we send you back to New York to Pat O'Brien and Mike Francesa.